For most people, Vos is known as the capital of extreme sports and beautiful nature, but it also has a rich cultural history. In this video, we're going to show you what else you can experience. This video is sponsored by Fleischisch Hotel in Vos. Check the end of the video for how to get a discount on your next stay at Fleischisch Hotel. Vos was the home of the artist family Bergslien. It consisted of the painter Knut Bergslien, the sculptor Brynjulf Bergslien and the painter Nils Bergslien. Knut Bergslien was most famous for the paintings of portraits and historical pictures, like the Birkebeiner. Many Norwegian painters went to his school and were influenced by him. The sculptor Brynjulf Bergsli is the brother of Knut. His most famous art piece is the statue of King Karl Johan riding a horse which is found in the front of the royal castle in Oslo. Nils Bergslien is the nephew of Knut. He learned to paint from his uncle, but he was also a sculptor. His most famous piece of art, the relief Ola Mosafin og Riddande Vosbud Laup. The history of the Bergslien can be traced along the Bergsli Trail. It starts at the center of Vos next to the church, where you can find the Bergsli Park with a monument to honor the artists. The reliefs were created by Nils Bergslien himself. There is also a statue of three children nearby, the Heiagengen, but it was not created by any Bergslien. The Ola Mosafin relief was originally located next to the station, but with the construction of the new Voskondol, it was removed in 2016. Unfortunately, the search for a new location became very political, so that by the time of filming in 2022, it had not been risen up again. The trail continues south along the lake. Next to the river Vosso, you will find the Bergli Tre. This is the farm where Knut and Brynjulf grew up. Today this house is used by the Bergslien Foundation as a little museum which is open on Sundays during summer. Here we end the Bergsli Trail, but we are not finished with our tour of Voss. If you continue over the Tintra Bridge and follow the path, you will reach Bordalsjele, a very narrow gorge. There are several viewpoints before the gorge, but there is a path which leads into the gorge. The gorge is very narrow and deep. You won't be able to see the river directly as the path hangs basically over it. If you don't want to walk there, there is a parking lot right in front of the gorge. It's not recommended to visit the gorge during winter, as the path might be covered with ice. You can see the location of the gorge from Voss. It's between the two mountains on the other side of the lake. The last cultural site we are presenting is the Voss Folke Museum. You will find it above Voss. There are several footpaths leading you there, but by car you will have to drive a quite long route. The museum consists of several old buildings, which are part of an ancient farm and a main building with a permanent exhibition. You can enter most of the buildings and see how people lived in Norway in the 19th century. The main exhibition shows artifacts from the cultural history of Voss. The centerpiece is a collection of wooden sculptures representing a traditional wedding on horse. So that's it. We hope the video is useful to plan your vacation in Voss. We want to thank the sponsor of this video, Fleischer's Hotel in Voss. Fleischer's Hotel has a special offer to all our viewers. Use code in the description for a special discount when booking next time. Limited amount only.